Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on how to avoid shrinkage. I mean, it's a problem that I think every curly haired girl has and or wavy. Some people care about it, some people don't. I used to care about it. It made me straighten my hair all the time because I didn't want to have to deal with shrinkage at all. It made me feel like my hair was way too short. But this is the way that I learned so that I would stop straightening my hair so much on how to get my hair to be a little bit longer, a little fuller, and it doesn't take that long. Um, but you'll see in the video exactly what I do. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey everyone, so I am going to show you how I avoid shrinkage. If you have curly hair, wavy hair, any type of hair that is not bone straight, you're gonna get shrinkage. Um, this is not a way that your hair is not gonna get shrinkage, it's just a way to avoid so much. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I just start off with as wet as I can get hair. I just got out of the shower, like it's it's pretty wet. So I take um, my cotton, it's cotton, and I just try to get some of the wetness out of it. Um, I usually do this method before I go to bed because it includes braids and I mean, it just depends on what you're doing that day. You can try to blow dry the braids. I've never really tried to do that. I feel like it would frizz it out a little bit, but of course you can try. That's totally up to you. So I'm only going to be using this. Um, this is the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Original Leave-In Moisturizer. Um, you can get it from Target. I do know I got that little gift set. Um, it came with this and two other items. I got it at Ross and it was like super cheap. Um, but you can get it, I don't know if you can get it at Walmart, but I know you can get it at Target. Um, now, <laughs> disclaimer, I can't braid. So what I do with my hair is as good as braids can get. So if you can do better at braiding, kudos to you, but this is just what I do. Um, so I do two low braid, two low braids. So I separate my hair. Um, the only thing I've done to my hair so far is I got out of the shower and brushed it. And that is about it. I haven't, it's not a wash day or anything like that. So literally I just got it wet. I didn't wash it or anything. So I'm not going to put a butt little product in it or else my curls will weigh down because I'm sure they still have the product from the other days. And then I just separate it like so. And then I take this, not too much, because like I said, not a wash day. If you put too much product in your hair on a non-wash day, you're going to end up with some uh, oily, kind of gross looking curls. And then it's going to be forced to become a wash day, even if it's not a wash day. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And when I do this, I really focus on my ends more than up here at my roots. Um, your roots are super important, don't get me wrong. But I feel like... That's where most of my oil builds up. So I try to, I still put product there, but most of my product goes towards here down. Does that make sense? I think it does. So then I just run it through and I'm going to do it to both sides. I'm like shedding like usual. Whenever I get out of the shower and comb my hair, I shed. It's so annoying. Like... God forbid if my hair is like up in a bun or something and I do this. Man. Shedding, 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 shedding. Okay, so after I do that, I'm also going to get right here. Like I said before, that's like my, my spot for frizz is right there in the back of my head. So I'm going to make sure I get that spot. Still not a lot of product, but I just make sure that that spot gets a little bit of extra TLC. And I'm just going to put that through like so. Okay. Then I get my white tooth comb. I comb through on one side. Literally. Go like this. Okay. And then I just literally just braid it. And then like I said, I usually just go to bed like this. Um, I do have to clean up and all that. So I'm not going to be going straight to bed. As you can see, I still have a face full of makeup but I'm going to let this air dry 
like so. And I don't know what it is about this that keeps my hair from shrinking, but I do it. Um, I don't do this all the time. I don't really mind shrinkage. I don't mind having short hair. I mean, it's never, it's never been an issue for me. Um, but I do know some people, they won't wear their hair curly because they feel like it makes them look like bald because their hair is short. But I, it's never really bothered me. I've had super short hair. So this is, this is nothing. Um, and especially because when my hair, when I don't do this method and I do my curls, I get really tight, cute little curls and I like them. So I do this, it kind of, this is going to sound funny, but it just depends on the outfit I'm wearing. Sometimes having that little extra makes it all come together a little bit better. Other times it doesn't matter. So yeah. So I just braid like so. Like I said, I'm not an expert braider, and I forgot that whole thing. Let me retry that. Not an expert braider, but I do it enough to my hair to get the job done. Um, other people's hair, no. Not even if it's straight, no. Not somebody who ever learned how to braid. This is about as good as it gets. So yeah, um, I do this. I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm going to give it, it usually takes about, I want to say, like I said, I usually go to sleep like this, but the times I have just stayed up and let it, you like my mismatch? Anyway, the times I have just stayed up and let it, it usually takes about two hours and then I'll take this out and then I'll start letting it air dry. So I will be back. Okay, so I have been literally waiting and waiting and waiting for my hair to dry and it's still not dry <laughs> like i told you guys i do this when i go to bed so waiting for it when i'm awake is like watching paint dry so i'm just gonna take it out and we will go from there um it's still the same idea though letting it i mean it's not completely wet but it's not as dry as i would want it to be like when i wake up but it's not always even completely dry when I wake up because, I mean, it's in a braid. You're only going to get so much. So, this is it right now. Um, now, there's two things you can do. If I leave it like this, it's going to dry fine, just like how if I had it in a braid. Um, or you can still keep it in your braid. Either way, you're going to get less shrinkage. Now, if you choose to blow dry, um, blow drying is a little bit different because you... When I blow dry, I scrunch, or I use my diffuser, which basically brings it up. So with that motion, what are you doing? You're scrunching it to your head. So you have to keep that in mind as well if you choose to blow dry. Um, now, if you're just going to continue to let it air dry, or you're going to bed with your braids, you're going to wake up, and it's going to be fine. Um, I'm going to let my hair sit out just to let it dry a little bit faster because all right so i let it air dry and this is where i'm at right now um the curls are definitely super super light right now because i literally just use this so there's oh, there's curls on there anyway i literally just use that so there's not um really that much in here um though i like it it's light it's airy it's fun da -da -da. And then you get outside and it frizzes and it's not so light and airy and fun. So I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, now you don't have to do this part. If you don't do this part, your curls are probably going to look longer without it. But I love volume and big hair. So I like to do it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of the Blueberry Bliss. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, not a lot, because it's not my wash day, so I'm not gonna put a crap ton of it. Just literally like, what is that? Probably a little bit bigger than a quarter. There's those 50, 50 cent coins, like that much. And I'm just gonna really, what I'm focusing on is just throughout the whole, I'm not really focusing on a spot. And then I'm gonna puff it up some more. And give me a second. The one thing that I find in, because I do love volume, but I have a hard time sometimes because sometimes I over puff and I frizz. 
So when I do that, I get a refresher spray, which is this one. Um, it's the hair milk. I like this. You can literally, I take it with me when I know I'm going to be out for a long time. I can take this with me and just literally, like it has, it's almost like getting water and putting conditioner in it. Basically, it even smells like it, like water mixed with conditioner, their conditioner. But I can just go through and do that. And that'll make sure that even though, like I said, a little volume, but I don't want frizzy curls. So I, you know, you, you know, I use a little bit of that, especially like with my bangs and especially because I flip sides. So my bangs right now are like trying to figure out what the hell life is. But it's okay. Because they'll dry fine. They always do. Not even worried about it. So my hair is dry. Um, the only time that you're seeing a little bit of the wetness is because I use this. So I can literally just use this little cotton thing. All this was, was um, it was like a little jacket. And then I ended up getting a hole in it. So I just turned it into my scrunch towel. And that's what it is now. Or you can go buy. I mean, they sell them. They have uh, all cotton ones, towels at Walmart. I think they're like 10 bucks. They probably find them cheaper. I don't know. I just I just use t-shirts. I don't really go through all that. So yeah, I'm not worried about my curls at all. They're going to dry longer than usual. Usually when my curls are fully dry um, and they, I haven't done any of this. Like right now, they're right here. They'll usually be like right here. I lose a lot of length. But like I said, it doesn't bother me. I've had really short hair before, so shrinkage isn't a huge deal to me. It's just kind of, it can get annoying at times just because like, it can make you look like your hair hasn't grown in years when it's been growing its little butt off. So yeah, that's how I will do my hair if I really, really, really want to avoid shrinkage. See my bangs acting crazy? Yeah, it's because they were, while I was, my bangs are too short, so when I um, braided my hair in, they kind of just stuck out and did their own thing. But I'm sure if you did um, two French braids, it would work even better, but I can't braid them. So, whatever. But yeah, so this is where I'm at right now. It'll literally stay like this length all day long. That's the nice thing about when you do braids in your hair and you take them out. It literally, like, if you, especially when you sleep on it, it literally can stay like that all day long. Unless you go and get it wet or you add a whole bunch of product. Um, now, I know some people that will add more product because it actually weighs your curls down. So, it can also make your hair look longer. But, it you have to deal with the side effects of that as well. Your curls are going to feel gross. Um, there's just, uh, I don't know. I don't personally do it. If you do do it. I mean, that's you. I just, my hair cannot handle all of that, and neither can I. It'll end up in a bun. Um, so I try to avoid all that product. Even when I do a refresher, um, it has to be like, I try to stay with the, what is it? What did I say? 50 cent coin amount for my hair, especially with like gels is a big thing that will make your hair disgusting <laughs> when you put too much of it. So as my refreshers go on, I try to stick to more hair milks, curl smoothies, things like that. Things that have what I need in it because I know that gels are already in it. So you don't need to weigh your hair down more with adding on more and more and more. So I would stay away from that. Um, but yeah, so just braid your hair. I would suggest going to sleep on it unless you do it like first thing in the morning and you know you're going to be home for a long time then do it then as well. That would work perfectly fine. And then unbraid it. And if it's not all the way dry, you can totally blow dry it. Um, like I said, just use a leave-in, not a leave-in conditioner, well, of course that, but a um, hair protectant just to make sure that your curls don't break off a whole bunch. But yeah, so I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys had great, enjoyed your holidays and I'll see you later.